Hello everyone, welcome back again with another video. We're gonna do a Noel build guide today. And I'm gonna do it step by step and a little bit more organized than my other videos. Let's get right into it. Noel is can be also a shield and it can heal and a DPS, which is all in one, which is really good. That's what we should build there. And not gonna lie, it's pretty worth it, not gonna lie. First, we're gonna talk about the talents of Noel. First one is the elemental skill. This elemental skill deals a geo damage to the opponents, whoever is near to Noel. And this shield also scales based on Noel's death. And when Noel is doing normal attack or charge attack, it will regenerate an HP for all the characters in your team. And the amount of HP healed when regeneration is triggered scales based on the well's death as well. And the healing triggering chance is 58%. Now this shield duration is about 12 seconds and the cooldown of this elemental skill is 24 seconds. The elemental burst of Noel will convert attack damage to geo damage and it will create more huge AoE of your attack as well. And you will also get an attack bonus based on your death as well. And the duration of your elemental burst is 15 seconds and the duration of the cooldown of the elemental burst is also 15 seconds. Also, I suggest is using the elemental burst first and then use elemental skill because it will also increase your elemental skill damage after using the elemental burst. Now moving on on the passive talents. For the first passive talent is when your one of your character is also below HP of 30%, it will create a shield to the active character that has below HP of 30%. And this lasts for 20 seconds or until it breaks. And this shield also absorbs damage equal to 400% of Noel's death. This effect can only occur once every 60 seconds. Now, after 60 seconds, it will not generate the shield again. You have to get hit by the enemy to generate that shield again. Which is kind of confusing why you have to get hit again just to regenerate the shield again for some reason. Second passive talent, when a perfect cooking is achieved on a death boosting dish, no one has a 12% chance to obtain double the product. And lastly, the third passive talent, Noel will decrease the cooldown of Breastplate by 1 second for every 4 normal or charge attack hits she scores on opponents. One hit may be counted every 0.1 seconds. Now moving on, on the best weapons for her. Now the best weapon for her is Serpent Spine which is actually a BP weapon. But if you don't have Serpent Spine, you can go for the White Blind which can be forged by talking one of the blacksmith in Teyvat. Next one is Skyward Pride. And finally is Fabian's Great Sword. And this weapon ranking is also for C6 Noel only. But if you are below C6, you can use the White Blind still. And also quick notes for the Fabian's Great Sword. It is only recommended if your Fabianus Great Sword is has high refinement ranks. Because Noel actually cannot create its own elemental particles. And this will help a lot. Since the Fabianus Great Sword actually generates particles when you're doing crit hits. Moving on on the artifacts. The best artifacts for Noel is 4-piece gla Gladiator Finale and 4-piece of Retracing Blade. Now, the 4-piece Gladiator Finale will beat the Retracing Blade. But since in the Retracing Blade, you just need to create the shield to get more attack. You can use the Retracing Blade if you have farmed from the Archic Petra domain from the past. You can use that for a moment if you don't have the main stats for the Gladiator Finale or you don't have any Gladiator Finale at all. Also, the problem of Gladiator Finale is that you can only get it by defeating bosses, which cost about 40 resins. And in the Archic Petra domain, 
it costs only 20 resins and in the bosses as well and the chances of you getting a uh, an gladiator is kind of 50 50 it can be wondrous trope or gladiator finale and it only gives you i think one five star artifact on battling the bosses or maybe two i'm not so sure but i'm pretty sure it's only one or two for the main stats the flower will be always hp and the feather is always gonna be attack and finally for the sands if you are c6 novel i recommend is death percentage on the sands if you are not c6 novel use attack percentage next one is goblet is going to be geo damage circle it is crit grade or crit damage now moving on on the constellations of noel on the first constellation while sweeping time and breastplate are both in effect the chance of breastplate healing effects activating is increased to 100 percent second constellation decreases the stamina consumption of noel's charge attack by 20 percent and increases her charge attack by 15 percent You'll see the difference here on between Razor and Noel on how much they use their stamina. And as you can see, Noel has a little bit more stamina than Razor. Constellation 3 is increased the level of breastplate by 3 and the maximum upgrade level is up to 15. Constellation 4, when breastplate duration expires or it will be destroyed by damage, it will deal 400% attack of geo damage to surrounding opponents. Constellation 5, increase the level of sweeping time by 3, maximum upgrade level is 15 also. And C6, sweeping time increases Noel attack by an additional 50% of her death. Additionally, every opponent defeated during the skill's duration adds up to 1 second to the duration up to 10 seconds, which is quite helpful. So that will be all the constellation. Also, there's an attack rotation for Noel. What you are going to do is doing 3 normal attacks and after doing 3 normal attacks, you either dash or hop. The reason you will need to do this is because the 4th normal attack has lesser AoE and a knockback problem. It's basically going to knock back the enemies. Moving on, on the team comps. On the team comps, of course, you want Noel as a DPS. Next one is a geo battery it can be the geo traveler or any geo actually understood and the next one on the supports is i recommend is bennett since it also heals and increases your attack as well which is quite helpful i won't hold you back and finally for the last one is gonna be a sub dps it can be shangling or Xingxu. Or if you want to also, you can use a gatherer instead of a sub DPS, but the gatherers I think can be also called as a sub DPS, I guess. Now that that's all done, now let's test the team comp. May not. Ha! Everybody stand back! Let me leave you a verse. Don't waste my time. Leave it all to me as a dutiful maid woman. Well that is all everyone, thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe as well and you can also comment down below if you have any questions and what build should I do next as well. Well that's all and see you guys in another video.